It's a cash box. That's coming home with me, baby. Fuck. Ow! What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on today's adventure. We actually just headed south to Pontiac, Illinois guys. This town is a more historic town, but we're actually right by this old abandoned like hotel where there's homeless people and lots of drug use going on right now guys. As you guys can see right there, we have a wild Jeffrey guys from Outdoor Influencer guys. Make sure to check him out. We're gonna be hitting this bridge right behind us. There's so much trash on the shores guys. So who knows what this spot holds. With that being said, let's get the magnets out the back of the bed and do some magnet fishing. All right guys, and today this is the spot we're gonna be fishing. I got a brand new Titan magnet, guys. You can cop all your magnets and gear down below in the description. And I even have a pair of new shoes slash boots, guys. These are still toe. No dropping stuff and hurting our feet today. With that being said, let's throw off. <laughs> we're pulling in for the first time today. Let's see what we got. Got a whole bunch of different clicks and items hanging off the magnet. Looks like we got parts to a can, a bent piece of rebar, and a straight piece of rebar. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and throw off for throw number two. Splash. Got a Coke bottle floating down the river. Too bad we can't get that out. And I apologize if I sound extra nasally today, guys. I'm starting to get a little bit of a cold. All right, guys, I'm getting a whole bunch of connections. So far, all we found is rebar and a piece of an old can. I'm going to dip this way a little bit. Do the old-fashioned Danny dip. Dip up and down along the bridge. See what's straight down. Never know what someone just, you know, drops right off. Ah, oh, I got something on here. Pretty heavy. Oh, here we go. We're pulling up. What do we got all on here? Holy cow. I think it's all rebar. Guys. <laughs> I got all different shapes and sizes of rebar. Well, we gotta take it over here and add it to the pile. Oh, wow. Looks like a couple pieces of rebar and an old railroad spike. That's a dollar right there. And whatever this weird thing is, it's tied to the piece of rebar. No, I got some tied on my thing. Look at that. Is that like a mini hose? No, this is literally. Thank you. That's literally tied. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, that's a ground cable. That's what that is. That once was in the ground. It's a copper wire. Oh, well, look at this big pile of scrap metal we got going. Let's go ahead and throw right back off. I'm gonna throw towards that shore. That's where I found a lot of connections. I think I got a concrete spacer. Oh yeah, you For when they build the bridge. Yup. That is exactly what that is. That's an old concrete spacer, guys. Oh, Jeff, we gotta make some room. Jeff, I thought that was a baby. It was a dog in a stroller. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that came off. Rebar, rebar, rebar. Oh, Jeff got something big. More rebar. Oh, what Jeff got? Oh, you got like a muffler. Yeah, is it a muffler? Old sign pipe. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> my biggest piece. <laughs> it's like five, six feet long. Oh, you about knocked it off. And you got like a piece of strap. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an old metal strap also. So it looks like I got like, ew, is that one of them nasty uh, rubber things that stick to stuff? <laughs> The fish, the fish things. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, <laughs> you can keep that. that. Sea monster, y'all. <laughs> look at that. Throw that back in the water. <laughs> I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what these things are, definitely let us Wiggle know. Wiggle it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that thing back in the water. Well, we got our first cool find. Kind of feels like Jello. <laughs> don't be touching it. I think it has something to do with like fish eggs or something. We'll throw it back in there. I don't know what that is. Got my first little uh, CO2 cartridge or whip it. Just throw it in the bucket. Oh, I miss. I <laughs> always miss. Then we got another piece of rebar. Take a wild guess. It's a piece of rebar. Yeah, that's okay though. I'll take rebar all day. Hey, you know what? You get a ton of rebar, it's like $300 almost. 
and we're working on it let's pull up oh i got something weird it looks like a top to a barrel i can't really tell from up here but we're gonna see here in a second oh yeah guys look i got a top to an old barrel it's pretty cool let's set that right there unbelievable oh actually you know what we got something else on there like some wire it's all tied up that's pretty weird if you guys know why that's all tangled up let me know in the comments below got a couple things on this throw guys some weird stuff too all right let's go ahead and set that down i'm gonna have to step on that one to get that off all right let's start off with what's on the magnet got some wires some nails oh piece of like maybe an old socket and a piece of like steel that little thing being a socket would make sense because we're buying auto shop but then we also have this weird thing this kind of looks like a old saw blade or something if you guys know what that is exactly let me know let's see yep three pieces of rebar guys So what I think we're gonna do guys, we're gonna load all this up and try another spot. Ow! All right guys, as you can see, I just pinched the crap up my fingers. It's already bruised. I might've just fractured it. Always be very careful when dealing with them strong, powerful 360 magnets, guys. You don't wanna hurt yourself like I just did. All right guys, so just on this last throw, we actually just finished fishing out all the rebar. We're gonna go ahead and head to the next spot. Let's see what he got, though. Oh, man. oh wow, that's a big piece of rebar to end it off on. Thought we got it all out. That's some good scrap right there. That's every bit of probably, what, 80 pounds? Oh, oh no, that's more Ooh. than 80. That's like 100. Man, that's a big old piece of rebar. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we're heading back over here towards the vehicles. I'm going to actually pull my truck over here. So we ain't got to carry all the metal so far. All right, guys, so this is that big piece of metal Jeff just found. That thing is literally every bit 80 pounds. Got an old dirty pipe. All right, Jeff, so you actually just brought me to the old Route 66 highway. We're actually going to be fishing off this bridge right over here in the neighborhood, man. You said you seen some stuff in the water? Yeah, yep. So with that being said, guys, let's just get over there and see what we can find. No way, guys. We actually just got an old chisel. Got a nail, a piece of rebar, and another piece of rebar, and two more nails. The whole magnet full again. Just pull up. Okay, so let's bring it down here. Well, we got our little fine section. Got some scrap. Got a piece of an old, like, muffler. It's pretty crazy. Some wire. And another piece of rebar. Can't really see what I got. We got a couple things. All right, so we got some sheet metal. Throw that one in the bucket. And now, oh, no way. We got like a little drill bit right there. That's pretty cool. That's our second tool today. Oh, look at that, guys. Jeff just found a hammer right up there on that drill bit, man. That's a potential murder weapon right there. That's what I was saying, man. I doubt it, though. This is such a historic place. That's probably when they built this bridge. Yeah, more like the construction worker. Construction worker with some buttery fingers. Dropped it right in the river. Oh, lots of rebar it looks like. Oh, I got an old horseshoe on Route 66. Look at that, guys. We just got a horseshoe on Route 66. That is insane, guys. It's a crazy find right there. And we got some nails with some concrete and a big old piece of rebar. But man, that horseshoe is sick. We pulled something off of it, it looks like. the heck is this we broke this off of it is that piece of what do you think that goes to 
pretty weird. I broke it off. Yeah. Kind of reminded me of like a motorcycle piece. It's heavy. Then we got a piece of rebar and ah, we got a piece of rebar and they bolt. Not bad. Look at that old monkey wrench. Oh wow, yeah, that's a small one too. Yeah, <laughs> that's old. Man, we gotta keep we gotta get back out there and see what else we can find. Oh, I just stuck something. That wasn't what I was going for. Ooh, got something heavy on the uh, hook. Is that an old train brake? That's what I was just about to say. It's yeah. an old train brake. Oh no, and we got a little uh, bolt right there. Oh, dude, there's oil. Whatever I'm messing with has oil. It might be a moped. This is freaking huge. Try to pull it towards you. You definitely have to drag it to shore. Yeah. Something heavy that's off it doesn't want to come up what is this a muffler i think that's what that is got a muffler it's so flat for being down there so long guys yeah, you got some more stuff coming some up. wire and a little bolt oh, it's got like a big piece of like sheet metal on here now dude is this an old sign no way dude the woods no way you got an old 66 sign bro i don't know if it's a 66 but oh it is dude I think it is a 66 side. That is awesome. Guys, this is what we live for. Holy cow. I'm lost for words. I don't know if this is an old 66 sign, but it says the world's best. That's coming home with me, baby. That's way cool. Woo! Got like a big old piece of pipe. Uh, some big old pipe and a uh, curved little piece of like Railroad spike or something. Pretty cool. What is this right here? What is this? We just pulled this off of that big thing. Dude. <laughs> Look at my hammer, man. That thing's barely a hammer. Danny's also found a hammer. Hey, don't make fun of it. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's barely even easy. Seen better left. days, all right? <laughs> That's cool. You got a magnet full. So, we got a weird piece of metal, wire, a nail. That's sort of kind of like a knife. A little weird piece. Oh, it's a saw blade. Look at that, it's a little saw blade. This thing is huge. I see a dollar on there, guys. It looks like we got our second railroad spike of the day. Yes, we do. There's a dollar and we got another piece of rebar. Not bad. Let's try to throw it over there by that shopping cart. Can't even throw half of the link. All right, guys. So it looks like we have a lock box over here. Gotta try and get it around this wall. All right. If we can get it to the shore, I can run down right there and then I can get the cart and that at the same time. No, I do. Oh, look at that. A lock Trying to get it over here to the shore, guys. And then we're going to go down there, get that shopping cart, and get this out the water. Wonder what's inside. It does, oh, look, does look like it's still locked. It's a cash box. I'm almost to the shore, and then I can go down there. All right, guys, so we just got it on the shore. Me and Jeff are going to go get that shopping cart up first, and then we're going to grab that, bring it up here, and open it and see if there's any goods inside. All right, guys, as you can see, I got it on the shore. Me and Jeff are about to go down there, get that shopping cart out the water, throw it up there, then get that, bring it up here, and see if there's any goods inside. That might Be careful, this is very steep. It looks way steeper on this angle than it does from on the bridge. You want me to get the shopping cart to here and you can throw it up? Oh, very steep, guys. You get it out the water first. Oh. 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 This is, good thing it's plastic. I mean, there's no way we would've got it with the magnet. Ow, pinch my finger. All right, I'm gonna flip it. It's gonna. You can't grab it. It's the tree. All right. You got it? 
Oh, there you go. You got it? It's heavy for being plastic, I'll say that. Get that thing up there, toss it up there. All right, let's go ahead and go get this cash box. Hopefully there's some stuff inside of it. Oh, guys. This is looking promising. Got some weight to it, too. Very excited to see what's in here. Feels like it has something other than just mud in it. The lock is still locked and latched. It's still locked and everything. There's a whole... They see a crawdad living in there. Ready? Oh, it's a fish. It's a fish. No way. <laughs> Got me a fish, guys. Oh, it's a smallmouth bass. Oh, it is. That's awesome. Got a smallmouth bass. Let's go and get him back in the water. He was inside there living. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, as you can see, it's still latched. It does have a little hole in this front part, but that looks like from over time, there was a fish living in there. We're going back in there. We're going to go ahead and get this latch unlatched, and then we'll be able to drop it and crack it right open. All right, guys, we got the hammer Jeff found, the little, like, chisel slash scraper I found. This is still latched, so we got to break that latch open. So I'm literally just going to wedge it in like that. Let's get a couple of taps. I don't know if this thing has been in before like opened but it has some good weight not just like mud oh yeah look at that latch right open all right go like this oh, oh what is it's, a it's a cash, cash drawer. drawer all right here we gotta go through it all because it's gonna have coins in it probably hopefully all right so we'll go ahead and try the get this drawer out oh it's not looking too good Jeff no it's not all right guys we're not done yet though so we got all this mud to check through definitely been out there for a while with all that mud in there yeah no it felt like there was other stuff in there guys but all right, guys, as you can see, we busted open. It was a cash box, but it was just mud on the inside. So we're going to grab our handy-dandy tools, put it right there by that. Got the shopping cart up, though, as well, guys. So, hey, it's a good day all around. So we're all loaded up. We're going to go ahead and return the shopping cart. But before we do, let's show you some of our finds today. Jeff found an old wood poker, guys. A uh, hammer, a weird spindle-looking thing, a broken spoon, railroad spikes all day, guys, from both of us, and an old golf club. Then I found an old cash box. Had my blood flowing, but it was sadly empty. The only reason we found that is because we found a horseshoe to bring us some luck, guys. Got some old tools along with another beat up hammer. And then the best find of the day has to be this sign. And if you guys know what type of sign this is, comment that down below. But with that being said, let's get to the market and return the shopping cart. I don't know if you guys want this, but we found one of your carts in the water. What? Well, your shopping carts, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we brought it back because I can't scrap it. It's all plastic. Alright, so we just got county marked. It's pretty it's pretty good. You just gotta pop this back in. It's kinda came out. I don't know who threw it in there, but oh. we pulled it out the river. <laughs> oh cool. But yeah, no, huh? Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a nice day, I 